The observer pattern is a common design pattern used in games. Unless you made peace with singletons, continue watching to see how the gen events free asset simplifies its implementation. Once you install the package from the link in the description, you will have a folder called gen events with this demo scene included. The scene makes use of a single scriptable object asset located inside the game events folder. Unlike in singletons, this asset isn't loaded into the scene, but will be used as a means of communication between the objects. You may create a number of lighter events, an integer event, for example, to update player's health bar, score or stamina, but we will focus on the game object event in this tutorial. After renaming the event asset, you can tell its type by referring to the inspector panel while the asset is selected in the project tab. The scene contains a simple sphere with a collider, rigid body and a swinging animation to trigger a collision, which will publish the collision event to any potential listener, all sharing the same event asset and totally decoupled that you can add or delete them without making any modifications to the hit publish class attached to the queue. Let's recreate the publisher class. First we need a collider to detect the collision and set its type to trigger on awake. Introduce an integer counter to be displayed in a label. Create a game event and serialize it to be able to assign it in the inspector while maintaining data privacy. That's all we need to do for the counter, but let's add a sound effect. Define an audio clip variable and just like the head counter, expose it in the inspector and make it accessible to listeners. Now let's create the particle listener class. Start by implementing the interface. Get the game object event asset from the inspector and the particle system object. Register on enable and then register on disable. Since the entire game object is being passed through the event, we can make use of any attached component. Let's get the cube color and use it as the particle color. Remember to make it publicly accessible first. To recap, the hit publisher class raises the event passing the game object it is attached to. Then listeners register themselves by using the same game object event asset. The component class implements the iGame event listener and implement the on event raised. The asset is free and is listed in the video description. Thank you for watching.